Turning to China's Fujian province, where the Seven Straits Forum is underway. China's top political advisor there addressed the forum and called for an easing of the entry permit requirements for Taiwan residents. Our reporter Wu Lei report, reports. This digital paper shoot camera is made only with a paper cover and a circuit board. Its inventor, George Lin, from Taiwan, is entering it in the Cross Street Innovation Competition. A first-timer, he says it offers a great opportunity to exchange ideas with mainland inventors. There are many differences in terms of the market and customs between Taiwan and the mainland. And I was really surprised to see a array of innovative products from mainland makers. Aside from this competition, 17 other similar activities are to be held in the following days. In another big move to promote exchange, China's top political advisor Yu Zhengsheng announced on Sunday that Taiwan residents will no longer need travel permits to visit the mainland. We will continue to create more preferential policies to encourage cross-street exchange, including lifting the entry permit requirement for Taiwan residents and recognizing Taiwan ID cards. Also at the forum, Vice Chairman of the Kuomintang Party in Taiwan, Hao Longbin, addressed the importance of mutual understanding. We all agree that people-to-people -people exchange is the most important among all the cross-strait exchanges. Through communication and understanding, we can build a more stable and peaceful relationship across the straits. This forum is the best platform for communication. Since 2009, this annual event has become the largest non-official platform held between the two sides. Interaction at the grassroots level has always been an essential part of the forum. The week-long event features activities covering youth exchanges, technology and cultural integration, hoped to further improve the understanding between the mainland and Taiwan. Wu Lei, CCTV, Xiamen, Fujian Province.